so you're wondering which web host to go with. Well, there is plenty to know before you choose. Let's talk about it. Picking a web host is a lot like picking a place to live. You've got lots of different options. The features you want in a home may be different than those someone else wants. You may be fine with an apartment, which is very different than a detached house. You may want your own home office where you do business. So let's talk about what you should know to make a decision on where your website will live. First up, you need to know what kind of site are you running? Are you doing e-commerce? Are you just hosting your own WordPress installation? If the answer to either of those questions was yes, you'll be happy to know that the major web hosts offer those services. Are you planning to resell that hosting service? If so, your options may be fewer. How big is your audience? As in, how much traffic are you expecting? This will also help narrow down the field for you. We need to talk about server types. We will start with a shared server. If you get a shared server, that means your site will live on a machine that is sharing resources with other sites. Theoretically, that means that if one of the other sites is getting lots and lots of traffic, it could cause a slowdown for your site when it comes to load times. Will a slowdown happen guaranteed if another site on your server gets a lot of traffic? Not necessarily, but it's possible. It's going to depend on the server resources. Shared servers can also run into security risks. If one site on the server is compromised, that could have an effect on your site. The opposite of a shared server is a dedicated server. Like the name says, you're paying to have access to a dedicated machine somewhere out there. Is anybody else on that server with you? No. That also means you can really tinker with settings since it's your machine. If another site at that same web host gets compromised, you should be fine. Your stuff is physically in a different place. In the middle is a virtual private server. You will be sharing a physical machine, but you have dedicated resources within that physical machine. For example, if a server had 16 gigabytes of RAM, your virtual private server could have one gig of that. Even if you're not using that gig, it's all yours. If other sites need that RAM from the same machine, too bad, they can't use it. Shared servers are usually the cheapest. Then there's virtual private servers, which are usually more expensive. Dedicated servers should cost the most. Also, if you start on one of these servers, your web host can help you migrate from one to the other. What about uptime? That's the amount of time that a server is up and running. At this point, major web hosts offer 99% or better uptime. Let's do some quick math using slatools.com. SLA stands for service level agreement, if you are curious. At 99.99% .99 uptime, your site could be offline for up to 52 minutes and 34 seconds in the course of a year. At 99.9% .9 uptime, your site may not be available for a total of 8 hours, 45 minutes, and 36 seconds per year. At 99%, your site could be down 3 days, 15 hours, and 36 minutes in the course of a year. DreamHost has a 100% uptime guarantee. In its terms of services, DreamHost says that if you're using its service and your site goes down, you will be compensated for that. And if we're talking about things going wrong, you want to check out what kind of support the web host offers. A lot of services offer support 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You'll see any combination of live chat, email, support tickets, and phone help that may or may not be limited by what time of day it is. You may also want to check out the company's rating at the Better Business Bureau while you're at it. So let's highlight a few web hosts in no particular order. Like I said before, DreamHost claims a 100% uptime guarantee. It offers shared servers, virtual private servers, and dedicated servers. E-commerce and WordPress are also supported. If you are looking to resell hosting here, you're out of luck. While live phone customer support is not available 24-7, the provider is responsive to live chat and tickets. If you're willing to pay annually, pricing starts at around $3 per month for shared hosting. If you're looking for phone support 24 hours a day, seven days a week, check out GoDaddy. You may know GoDaddy as a domain registrar, but it's a host too. GoDaddy also offers all three versions of servers, WordPress and e-commerce. Unlike DreamHost, reseller hosting is supported at GoDaddy. GoDaddy's pricing is a bit higher than DreamHost. Shared hosting starts at around $6 per month if you sign up for a three-year stint. 
And let's wrap up with Green Geeks. You can get a shared server, a virtual private one, or a dedicated server. Like GoDaddy, Green Geeks supports e-commerce, WordPress, and reseller hosting. Pricing starts at around $3 per month. One of the things that sets apart Green Geeks from other hosting services is that Green Geeks says it's eco-friendly. Its site says, quote, your Green Geeks account will have a positive energy footprint on the environment as we replace with wind power credits three times the amount of energy your website will use. There are a lot of options out there. If you've got comments or questions, let us know. I'm Ayaz Akhtar and I'll see you online.